accounting quiz on the balance sheet. We're going to go through 10 questions about the balance sheet. We're going to cover assets, liabilities, equity section of the balance sheet. And this quiz is going to be on the intermediate side of accounting. It's not going to be accounting 101. And they are multiple choice questions. I'm going to give you four answers for each question. And you're going to have 15 seconds to answer those questions. And I want to know how many questions you got right once you finish the quiz. Please comment how many you got right out of 10. All right, let's dive into this and good luck. Which one of these assets is marked to fair market value on the balance sheet? A, held to maturity investments. B, trading securities. C, cash. D, prepaid. The answer is B, trading securities. Trading securities are stocks and bonds that are marked to fair market value as of the balance sheet date with unrealized gains and losses reflected in the income statement. These are investments that you're not planning to hold on to for a very long time. Herodotus receives $100,000 in pre-sale cash for his new book that will be released and delivered next quarter. The $100,000 should be recorded as A, unearned revenue, B, accounts receivable, C, retained earnings, D, prepaid expenses. A, unearned revenue. If a business receives cash in advance for goods and services, the cash received is not recognized as revenue until the goods and or services are earned. In other words, the cash is a liability on the balance sheet and it is not considered the business's cash until they have earned that revenue. A note payable not due within 12 months of the balance sheet date will be recorded as A, a current asset, B, a current liability, C, non-current asset, D, non-current liability. D, non-current liability. A note payable is a written promise to pay. In other words, it's considered a promissory note from a legal standpoint. It is recorded on the balance sheet as a non-current liability if it's not due within 12 months of the balance sheet date. Marcus Aurelius rents space in Long Island, New York to run his software company. He is required to put down a $10,000 rental deposit to lease that space in Long Island, which will be refunded to him at the end of the lease term. Where should he record the $10,000 rental deposit? A, rent expense. B, rental deposit, asset on the balance sheet. C, rental deposit, liability on the balance sheet. Or D, prepaid expenses. B, rental deposit, asset on the balance sheet. Since the rental deposit is refundable at the end of the lease, it will be recorded on the balance sheet as an asset. In other words, we expect to recoup the cash from the landlord once the lease term is over. If you've gotten any value out of this video so far, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. All right, let's continue with the accounting balance sheet quiz. When an invoice is entered through accounts payable and then processed, you generally will be debiting what general ledger account 
when the payment is made? A, cash, B, prepaid, C, accounts receivable, D, accounts payable. The answer is D, accounts payable. When an invoice is entered into the accounting system through accounts payable, the transaction will debit the appropriate general ledger account and credit the accounts payable general ledger account, putting the liability on the balance sheet. Now, when the invoice is actually paid, is to debit the accounts payable general ledger account and then credit cash. Augustus owes his staff $30,000 of earned bonuses as of 1231-25. He will pay them out in first quarter 26. Where would you find the bonuses on the balance sheet as of 1231-2025? A, under current assets. B, current liabilities. C, non-current assets. D, non-current liabilities. The answer is B, current liabilities. The bonuses would be found on the balance sheet as a current liability. Since the bonuses were earned and not yet paid and will be paid in the subsequent quarter, the journal entry to record the unpaid bonuses as of the balance sheet date of 1231-2025 would be to debit bonuses, which is an expense account, and then credit bonus payable. A note receivable to be collected within 12 months of the balance sheet date will be A, a current asset, B, a current liability, C, a non-current asset, or D, a non-current liability. A, a current asset. A note receivable is a financial asset that represents a written promise from a debtor. Again, this is a promissory note from a legal standpoint. In accounting, a note receivable is classified as a current asset if it is due within 12 months of the balance sheet date. When issuing stock at a price greater than the par value of the stock, the difference between the price issued and the par value is recorded as A, retained earnings, B, par value stock, C, additional paid in capital, D, treasury stock. The answer is C, additional paid in capital. Additional paid in capital reflects contributions made by shareholders over and above the par value of the corporation's stock. An example would be a share of stock issued at $100 a share with a $1 par value. This share of stock being issued would be recorded as debit cash of $100, credit par value of $1 and credit additional paid in capital of $99. If Aristotle declares a dividend of $200,000 and his company has retained earnings of $1 million, what is his ending retained earnings after paying out the dividend? A, $1 million, B, $200,000, C, $800,000, or D, $1.2 million? The 
the answer is C, $800,000. If we do a mock-up of the calculation, we take retained earnings of $1 million, subtract the dividend that was paid of $200,000, our ending retained earnings balance is $800,000. Leonidas buys equipment to build a large fence. The fence cost $150,000 and the equipment to build it cost $50,000. It's customary for Leonidas to capitalize these types of assets and depreciate them over the useful life. How much was recorded as a capital expenditure? A, $0, B, $50,000, C, $200,000, or D, $150,000? The answer is C, $200,000. The capital expenditures on the balance sheet would be the equipment of $50,000, the building improvements, the fence of $150,000. So our total CapEx added to the balance sheet was $200,000. All right, that's the end of the balance sheet quiz. Let me know in the comments how many you got correct. And I hope you got value out of this quiz. I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.